Hi guys, I'm back. I have my camera cursing behind the camera now, so you don't have to look at me move on the camera. So I'm going to continue on, and let me push the button again, with the Vintage Collection Part 2. Um, oh, this! <clears throat> Sorry. This is also part of that haul that I got. So that was that's dress number four? Yeah, dress number four, piece number five. Um, and this one, I think, is probably a 1940s, because I think during the 1940s they had the zippers on the side. Um, this one is a Rose, Rose Crest, Boston and New York, size 16, and, yep, size 16, which would be a 10, 12 now. Um, very cute. What I like is this, the little pleats, kick pleat in the back little flap that's fabric but very pretty for the summer um, can put a shirt under it and make it a jumper would be cute too um, but that's that with the, like the little lace uh, on top of that um, here's another I told you I liked blue sometimes sorry I've got these packed in tight I like blue this is another one this one I think is handmade I'm pretty sure of it but it does have a um, metal zipper very pretty just two shades of blue. This is kind of wool and then this is kind of a satin up at the top. Very pretty for, you know, a cocktail dress, um, you know, a nice formal function where you need to look nice. And it's just a different color. You can see that with some, um, I have a step st statement necklace um, that my husband bought me for an anniversary a couple of years ago from Banana Republic that would go really good with this. Um, then I have this one. This is actually part of this haul, too. Okay, because it's got <clears throat> the little... That's how I know. Goodwill does their um, things, or at least they used to, with the little colored tag-attachy thingies. So this is part of that haul, too. And this is an Ann Kaufman. Um, this one, I think, zippers on the... Where does this zipper at? Or does this... Yeah, it zippers on the side. So I'm guessing it's probably in 1940s. I just like the lace work here. And it's re they're in really good condition. And I like the fact... I don't know if you can see it. The armpits are reinforced. There's like stitching here. It, double stitching. Um, and then it's got the lace work down here at the bottom too. Hopefully I'm holding it up high enough where you can see it. Am I, can can you see that in the camera? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, my cameraman's telling me I'm doing a good job. Camera girl, excuse me, doing a good job. This one I got off of eBay a few years ago. Um, and I just really liked it because of the drop waist. Um, again, the arms are reinforced with the extra stitching. Um, it's got a little tear here. Uh, I don't even, I don't, yeah, it does. Uh, it is a Claudia Young. Um, but I really like it. It's even got the, just the way it's cut, it's even got the little extra slip under here, and it's in really great condition. Um, the next thing I got is from the Salvation Army. It's bizarre how I can remember how I got, where I got these. Well, the tag tells you. Um, it's just a really blue, nice pretty blue dress, too. Got dog hair on it. I've got a golden. Um... And then it's got the bow in the back. But then it's kind of got this little bustle that's part of the dress, the way it falls. It's, it's not an extra piece. It's just like the way they've got it folded, and then it attaches, and then you've got the bow. And then it's very pretty, though. Um, the next item is I got it off of eBay, and in my dreams, I will be able to ever wear this. Maybe. Uh, I'll have to try it again. I've lost a little bit of weight, not much. But I just love this around the waist with the bow. I just thought that was the coolest thing. And the Peter Pan collar. And it's long and wiggled. And I have yet to see anything like it since. The one thing I don't like about it, and I'm, well, I'm guessing it's probably, I'm feeling it's homemade. I, for the life of me, don't understand why somebody would do. Can you see the thread? It's orange. And it's not, I mean, it's not like somebody fixed the dress with orange thread. It was sewn with kind of an orange thread. I don't know, you know, I mean, a red dress, you know, and then you've got that orange stitching under the sleeve. That's just 
bizarre to me. But hey, it's a cool dress. I got it off eBay for a few years ago. Was actually thinking about selling it. And every time I pull it out, I change my mind. Um, I just I just love the Peter Pan collar. I just love one of these days. I'm going to try. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I've got some um, vintage lingerie, uh, vintage undergarments, so we'll see how that works with that to see whether that can slim down my waist any. Um, this is another one. Uh, I don't remember where I got this one from. This is a K. Carter, just a little black, you know, slinky wiggle dress with a kick pleat in it. Um, very pretty. Another one of those you can wear for those occasions. This is a 19... <clears throat> this one I was able to Google. This is a 1970s Lily Diamond, size 12, um, complete with the flower. I have no idea whether it used to be longer or not. I don't know. Um, but it's strapless, just really cute. Somebody actually had made some straps to go with it and pinned them on the inside of it. But it's actually a, a strapless dress. Very pretty, complete with the flower. Probably have to figure out, steam that open and stuff. But really cute outfit. This is one of my favorites. <coughs> <coughs> this halter. It's all kind of wrinkled, but with these wide lapels. Let me see if I can take it off so you guys can kind of see how it hangs. Um, but this is how it hangs. Uh, hopefully, can you see it, Deb? Am mm -hmm. I doing it good? Okay, well this is how it hangs, and I just like the neck. And then it's all open in the back, and it is vintage, and it's full. And I just like the fabric, too. I like the color fabric. Very, um, very 50-ish, you know, early 60-ish. Um, this is a outfit that I got off of eBay, again, a couple of years ago, um, with a matching coat. I don't particularly care for the coat. I mean, eh, you know, it's okay. I mean, it makes it look retro, but I like the dress, so I'm thinking what I'd do is probably wear the dress with, like, a cardigan. I do have, like, a purple cardigan or a cream one, and it's a Mancini of California, designed by Mancini of California, and you see... <clears throat> It's faded a little bit because the lining of the coat seems to be a little bit brighter, but it doesn't just detract from the, the beauty of the coat, I mean, of the outfit. This is also another one of my favorites, and I'm hopefully moving along real quickly. Oh, wow. I've got two minutes, and I've done pretty good. This is another one I got off of eBay. It doesn't have any tags in it. Uh, I just liked the color. Again, I told you red is one of my favorite colors. I like the pockets. And the Peter, the two-tone, the Peter Pan collar, you know, with the thing and the flowers and just the way that it's made is very cute. Um, this is another one I got off of eBay. Um, this one actually is a, can double. This actually, let me show you. Let me get this off. Why am I still in the frame? Okay, well, anyway. We do it this way so you guys can kind of see. This detaches. So you can take this off and then it becomes, you can wear this like in the evening with this again or during the day. You know, more business-like, secretary-like, whatever you want to say, by putting the collar back on it and doing the ruffles. Very cute. Very cute dress. Has sl the slit pockets on the side. You know, the metal zipper kick pleat in the back. Um... This is another one of my favorite. This is just, this thing is just ever so, it's just so loud. I mean, <laughs> it's loud, but it's really pretty and it's fun. And I can't wait to wear it again in the springtime. Um, just reminds me of an old episode, the um, early episodes, probably early 1960s um, of Bewitched. I watch a lot of classic television just because the fashion ideas and I like classic television and anyway... I'm not going to go there about a lot of what's on TV today. Um, but I like classic TV. Um, so that's what that reminds me of. <clears throat> this is a LaCosta. Polyester. I tried wearing this one time. I may have to do springtime, you know. But summertime, it's polyester. This puppy is just way too hot to be wearing in the summertime. And it's got the matching belt. Um, it's a 1960s, 1970s. Thing. You know, again, if you get vintage items and you're not sure about them and they have the tag, 
I really like the Vintage Fashion Guild um, tag resource. is really good at finding out how to date your clothes if they have a tag in them. Um, the next one I've actually shown you guys before. It was part of a thrift find. Um, this is a Victor Costa, 1970s, and this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Well, I've run out of time again, so that'll probably be the last one, and then I will come back with... This may be a four-parter by the time I get through it. I mean, I've done pretty good, but I got a lot. You know, let me throw one last one in here for good measure. This one I got at Value Village um, a couple of um, winters ago. Um, and I just liked it. Red velvet. It's got this extra collar here. I don't think it has a label in it. But it zips on the side. So I'm guessing it's probably like a 1940-ish, definitely 1950s kind of thing. So that is pretty much it for now because I don't want to go over and then find out I can't upload it. So that's part two. Um, hope you are enjoying seeing my vintage, um, my vintage um, dress collection. You know, when I collect things, I go all the way. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.